All right. Uh, hello. Not even enough. But you can. I could have been undressing, and who knows what I would have had to do to you. You're here to see Her Royal Majesty Queen Victoria, aren't you? Oh, I don't mind seeing you. Really? Do I often pogo stick through your thoughts wearing nothing but a smile? Be honest. Or don't. Is Therese around? Therese is out making a show of how Therese? well her what lips else? fit on the pants seat of the Camarilla. Did you happen to find her chastity belt or something? We get some Teresa from the hotel. Ooh. <laughs> Can I see it? Sure. Oh, it's beautiful. Like a knight in shining armor. Dangling at the end of a noose. <laughs> Alright, these were supposed to call for a feud with tongue. Oh, did she now? I spend a few nights with Bertram and all of a sudden he's the pox of Santa Monica. <laughs> <laughs> Paranoia and Therese have been bedfellows for longer than I can remember. Indulge my curiosity. What did you really think of Therese? He's fine. I don't really know. Oh, I wish I could do something about it, but Bertram you... won't believe it's off until he hears Therese say it's off. And as I told you, I'm really not sure where Therese is. However... However? What? Do you know Gallery Noir down the street? I happen to know there's a charity oh. event being organized there. Lots of influential Santa Monicans slithering in for token appearances. But there's one thing they don't know. The whole event's been oh. set up by a kindred trying to establish their own power click in our city. And we can't let that happen, can we? So I mm. need some brilliant young upstart to spoil the milk. Sure. What do I do? <laughs> I promise this won't take long. Take this knife. Give the paintings in the gallery a good slashing. Don't get caught. Oh. And don't turn it into a massacre. And steal the charity box, would you? Buy yourself something velvet. Right, sure. I'm sure Therese will be thrilled to honor your agreement when mm. you get back. But in the meantime, <laughs> get to the museum and ruin those paintings. Then pay me a visit. I want to hear all about it. Hurry up. I can only amuse myself for so long. Oh, and there was something about the paintings. Hmm, what was it? I can't remember. Oh well, have fun, Duckling. Hey, let me guess, the curse or something and... Hmm. Very suspicious. Alright, this... Oh! It's locked. Hmm. Hey, 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 hold on, man. What? There. I'm afraid you're committing a 351. That's trespassing on private property. I'm gonna have to ask that you vacate the premises immediately, or I'm afraid I'll be forced to radio this in. Hey, so. Okay, I'm. Hmm. Don't want to cause any trouble, uh, so. No problem. I have to deal with this sort of thing all the time, you know. So thank you for your cooperation, Missy. Please leave in a timely manner and have yourself a good night. Okay, bye. Hmm, so is someone on watch? Hmm, yes, definitely gonna have to... Be careful about this. Nice. Nikon? He's not going after me. Yeah, I'll say I don't want to go in the front door. Hey, can I unlock this? Oh! Hi, boy! Aha! Yes! Ow. That's some pain, but there's cash. Hmm. Oh! So. Okay, that. I have to slash that one, so. Can I only slash them in a certain order? Games. Please. Evil. Hmm. Hey. That's not 
me. Oh, maybe it's referring to the original demon which my namesake is from. Oh. That seems to be the only one that took any damage so far. Wait, no. Okay, so... I was not expecting this. This... This is why I've come up with nicknames for myself. Lilith or... Zombie Lilith. Anyway. Hmm. So it looks like I have to slash them in a certain order. Question is, what is that order? Hmm, wait. Wait a moment. Aha! Maybe it has to be in the story order, so Cain slays Abel, so then Cain gets cursed by God. Aha! So then Cain meets Lilith, and then Cain spurns Lilith. Oh no. Oh boy. Some something is Oh Whoa Oh you're made of blood And I a vampire drink blood. Do bullets harm you? Think so. Whoa. Mm. Uh. Whoa. Oh boy. Need blood, but this is a guy made of blood, so once he's weak enough, can I? Can I drink him? Damn, our bullets. Whoa, boy. That's not good. Uh. uh. Wait, bare fist seems to do the most damage. Whoa. Whoa. Mm, dang. Okay, now the charity box. Aha. Okay, I definitely shouldn't go out. I don't. Oof, humanity lost. What? No plan of humanity left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You... what were you thinking? How could you give her that item from the hotel? Do you know what she did with it? What? Oh, no, it's not... that's not that. Oh, but... Huh? But I thought she... explained to me. She threw it into the Pacific. Do you know what this means? Hmm? It means that I can't what? get rid of the spirit now, which means that that property is useless to me! And to make matters worse, someone's just gone and ruined my event at the gallery. I wonder who could have ruined that gallery event. Shut up! I thought I could control my sister as long as Tongue mm. was out of the picture, but nothing's changed. Because of them, I'm in a worse position than I was before. The Ocean House is worthless. So our business is forfeit. The feud is on. Oh boy, um, I'm trying to. Clearly, there's something I could do. I made some threats against my sister. Idle threats, mm. involving fire and her impious satin sheets. She took them quite seriously, and is avoiding me. I want to meet with her, and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside mm. Diner, to reconcile. But I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. 
Wait for her in the back booth, near the phones. Um, um, hmm. For all her okay. unwholesome diversions and irritating disruptions, I should be less tolerant of her. She is my sister, however, and I suppose I'm obligated to forgive her her trespasses. I did sire her after all. Please, be quick about it. Oh, Gina. Eh? What? What's going on here? Hey, where you going, man? I'll just move on, okay? Whoa! Whoa! What? What the? to die and uh, ask what's going on. Excuse me! Excuse me! Let you go this time, man. Ah, okay. Yeah, good for you. Okay, I didn't think my abilities would be strong enough, but okay, avoid a confrontation. Um, she wasn't there. Hmm. Hello. Tell me what happened. With you at the gallery all along. She set you up and Oh. Did you hear that? She's crazy. She paid those thieves for a hit. She'll kill anyone who gets in the way of her becoming the top dog of Santa Monica. Oof. All right, I'm coming over. Hurry. I... I don't know how much longer I have. Uh I think got stuck. Yeah, that's fair. You stay out of this. To think anyone would risk their life for this filthy, tainted waste of blood. This will just make it easier to kill both of you. Help! Save me and I'll help you find Bertram. I swear! Shut up, Jeanette! Wait. I warn what? you to stay away from Tongue. What? He's turned you against me. What? I always what? looked out for you. What? But you couldn't what? stand my success. What? You had to meddle, uh, didn't you? I didn't want what? it to end like this. But you forced me! I wasn't sticking my fingers in anyone's pie, dear sister. Huh? Of course you weren't. Huh? Just like you weren't working with him. Is it any different than the way you treated father? Father? Oh, Therese. Huh? You <laughs> poor deluded dear. I treated father exactly the way he deserved to be treated. And he treated you like a... You don't say a word about father. Your heart still belongs to daddy after all these years, eh, sister? At least he loved me. You take that back, you bitch! You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? So, so, so they say, they, they share the same body? That's... That's why I've never seen them separately? Have they always been like that? Or were they once separate but at some point got merged into one body? Whoa! What a twist! I did not see that coming! Isn't it obvious? Hang on here. I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore! Do you realize that despite her condition, she still fornicates with kind no less? So despicable. 
so unclean. You're one to talk, dear <laughs> sister. Or should I say daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a <laughs> saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Don't finish that sentence or you're dead. Go on, Jeanette. Yeah, I'm gonna take Jeanette's side. I much for her. He had his way with you. And he didn't have to force you. What? You went limp and became his what? plaything. Do you think I didn't hear it? Oh my night, god! Night? Always the obedient daughter until... Shut up. Just shut up! Oh my god, that's... That's terrible. Uh... I'm starting to get the feeling they... They've always been like that and... And she... She actually has disassociative identity disorder, nothing supernatural and... Yeah, maybe that is what caused... The trauma that that caused the other identity. So, ah, William, but oh. would you like to tell Go a on. story? <laughs> she makes herself out to be the virgin queen of the night, pious as a nun, stable as the Earth's orbit. But it's all an act, isn't it? I'm the good girl. You're the wicked one. You've done nothing but plot against me when I had our best interests at heart. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me? Taken care of me? You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? No, sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose mm. this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. Oh! Oh. Or, are, or were they supernaturally merged? Okay, uh, I'm really confused here. Is... Was this a naturally... Occurring instant of DID, or was this a supernatural merge? What? That... Anyway, I'll I'll keep sighing with Jeanette. She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that mm. fed you. Therese will never let you live. You've disappointed her. Mm. I used you, yes, but I didn't try to have you killed. Therese has no problem with killing, do you? Remember father? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. Uh, yeah. So what if she's an awful daughter? He sounds like a bad father. Father came home drunk one day and mistook me for Therese. Because I'd fallen asleep in her bed. Don't listen to her. She's lying. Therese walked in while he was there and hmm? she saw me lying with Okay, him, so, so they were the once separate people. His hunting shotgun, loaded it with deer shot and blew his mind out all over the silly clown wallpaper. That's a lie. Father killed himself because of Jeanette. She made him miserable. As I recall... He died with a smile on his face. Okay, so they... They were once separate real people. Who were somehow supernaturally murdered. That's, that's what I'm picking up. The police sure did. They broke mm. us up for a little while, remember? The first thing you did after your escape was find me. Enough! Don't say another word about that. So, sweet sister, is this how it has to end? I admit, I always knew this night might come. Well, any message you want me to give father? An apology? A love letter? Wait. Eh. 
From this conversation, I always interpret as one person was torn based on this social identity or I disorder. This on you next, yeah, that. But I won't. That's what I was gathering, but um, Tell with some. You, you're no threat. I'll call us a few. If that I didn't know which sister head. existed first. Yeah, I. I was kind of thinking it was dissociated identity disorder. Or was because of that traumatic incident, though. For some way, she was. Hmm. Okay, it did kind of sound like something generally supernatural, but anyway. Turn you next. Well, that's this in tongue, you're no threats. So it's never actually explained? What happened? Well, tongue's hiding out in an abandoned oil tank at the old uh, gas station. I'll tell him that one condition uh, of a truce is that he help you. So, um, is finally complete. so if there's no real what explanation given, um, Not a word the best I can gather is I agree with you. I think it's the ID. Anyway, wait, you. What? I believe you killed Jeanette. Could I have saved her? What? Wait. Hold on. Could that have gone... Could I have saved Jeanette? Grab the gun, Jeanette. Oh. So... Different now? I killed her. I didn't want her to go. I only want okay. her to change. You understand, don't you? Poor, poor Therese. You wanted to find Bertram. Okay, so I I saved Jeanette that time. The oil He'll help you because I'll ask him to. But you must keep your tongue tied tight about what happened this night. Understand? Don't hesitate to come see me once in a while. I'm going to be so lonely without Therese. I mean, I may need someone like you sometime, and I do get bored so easily. Maybe you could come by and cheer me up sometime. Hey. I'll come back, I promise. Okay. Okay. So I was able to save Jeanette.